nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And ignition. Lift off. Hello and welcome to another video by me, the Raspberry Pi Guy. Today, the Raspberry Pi Foundation have just launched a brand new add-on product for purchase called the Sense Hat. This is the board used for the Astro Pi mission, and it is a genuine piece of space hardware filled to the very brim with sensors, LEDs, and a whole host of other components. Two of these are going to be spending the rest of their lives hooked up to Raspberry Pis on the International Space Station, with their use being championed by Britain's first ever astronaut, Tim Peake. In this video, I'll be taking a look at the now available to buy hardware and reason for its design. So stay tuned. Back in December 2014, the Raspberry Pi Foundation announced an extremely exciting project in partnership with the European Space Agency. This was to send two Raspberry Pi B pluses to humanity's very own base in low Earth orbit, the International Space Station. That's right, soon there will not just be over 5 million Pis on Earth, but a further two, a whole 400 kilometers up in space. The spacefaring Raspberry Pis are going to be hooked up to this brand new little board, the Sense Hat. This is laden with sensors and gadgets. I'll give you a tour of all of the hardware in a second. You may be wondering what the purpose of the Astro Pi mission is. Well, over the last half year, school students, both secondary and primary, around the UK have been entering the Astro Pi programming competition. This recently concluded, and to sum it up, Britain's first astronaut will be running school children's code in space as part of his sixth month long mission. You can read more about this on the Raspberry Pi blog, but the winning entries range from telemetry trackers that predict where the space station is, to using the Pi camera to detect high energy space radiation. All of this was coded by people from the age of 16 down. So that is the Astro Pi mission. And as I mentioned before, in order to broaden the horizons of what people could do with two Pis in space, the foundation designed an add-on board with many features to play around with. This is going up to space with the Pis in gorgeous Apollo-esque aluminium cases. But fortunately for us mere earthlings, the Sense Hat has been released for purchase. Let's take a tour of the board. The Sense Hat is of course a Raspberry Pi hat. That means it has that familiar 40 pin connector and is compatible with the B+, A+, and Raspberry Pi 2. On the top of the board, dominating most of the space is a gorgeous 8x8 RGB LED matrix with a 60fps refresh rate and 15-bit color resolution. As you can see, colors are bright, punchy, and graphics are clear. The LEDs are driven by a small microcontroller also on the board, the Atmel ATtiny88. Also on the board is an inertial measurement sensor. This is a 3D accelerometer, gyroscope, and magnetometer combined all in one chip. The foundation say that this gives you accurate pitch roll and your readings. Those are perfect for sensing the orientation of both the International Space Station and your project down on Earth. This is hooked up to the Pi via I2C. In addition to that, two other chips are hooked up via I2C, a barometric pressure and temperature sensor, as well as a relative humidity and temperature sensor. These are both very high quality. For example, the humidity sensor is good enough to detect the water vapor in human breath and therefore the presence of an astronaut or other human being. Moving down to the inputs, you can see a small PCB mounted five button miniature joystick. This can sense up, down, left and right as well as a middle click and is designed to be a method of navigating around your applications. With all of this fantastic hardware, you may be wondering what the Sense Hat will retail for. The board will cost just $30. In my opinion, that's a great price for all of those sensors and other components. Now let's take a look at some of the software the Sense Hat is supplied with. The good folks at the foundation have certainly not skimped on the code. They have provided an entire Python library with demos that abstracts all of the functionality of the Sense Hat really well indeed. Things like displaying messages, reading sensors, and everything else is both available and well documented on raspberrypi.org and the relevant GitHub repositories. All of this code can only get better as more and more people contribute and build things with this fantastic piece of new hardware. I think that with the Sense Hat at the heart of your project, whether on or off Earth, you can't really go wrong. It is a top-notch board for everyone from astronauts to educators. And so concludes today's look at Raspberry Pi's brand new product, the Sense Hat. 
Overall, I think that it is one of the most well-equipped and well-rounded add-ons for the Pi I have seen, and I would highly recommend it. Two of them will be hitching a ride with Britain's first astronaut, Tim Peake, on December the 15th, 2015. According to the Foundation, all of the code and data from the Raspberry Pis and Sense Hats on board the International Space Station will be available for the public. I wish Tim Peake all the best for his mission, and I look forward to hearing more about this awesome project. The Sense Hat is available to buy through the Raspberry Pi Foundation, and for more information, visit their website and blog. There are links in the description below. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Until next time, bye.